October 7th. Today, we commemorate the holy martyrs Sergius and Bacchus. These holy and wonderful martyrs and heroes of the Christian faith were at first nobles at the court of the Emperor Maximian. The Emperor himself valued them greatly for their courage, for their wisdom and zeal. But when he heard that these great nobles of his were Christian, his love for them turned into fury. And once, when there was a great offering of sacrifices to idols, the emperor summoned Sergius and Bahas to offer sacrifice together with him, and they openly refused to obey him in this. Besides himself with anger, the emperor ordered that their robes, rings and marks of eminence be stripped from them, and they be dressed in women's clothing. He then put iron yokes on their necks and led them thus to the streets of Rome to be mocked by each and all. The emperor then sent them to Asia, to Antiochus the governor, for torture. Antiochus had achieved his distinguished rank with the help of Sergius and Bacchus, who had at one time recommended him to the emperor. When he began to urge them to deny Christ, to save themselves from dishonorable suffering and death, the two saints replied, both honor and dishonor, both life and death, all are one to him who seeks the heavenly kingdom. Antiochus threw Sergius into prison and ordered that Bacchus be tortured first. The servants took turns in beating holy Bacchus until his whole body was broken into fragments. His Holy Spirit went forth from his broken and blood-strained body and was borne to the Lord by angels. Saint Bacchus suffered in the town of Varvalis. Then Holy Sergius was led out. Iron shoes studded with nails were put on his feet and he was driven out into the Syrian town of Rasepha and there beheaded with the sword. His soul went to paradise where together with his friend Bacchus he received the crown of immortal glory from Christ, his King and Lord. These two glorious nights suffered for the Christian faith in about 303. King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thy martyrs 
Let the Lord in their courageous contest for thee receive the surprise, the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since they possess thy strength, they cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strengthless presumption. O Christ, God, by their prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. Thy victorious right arm in a manner befitting God has been glorified in strength, O immortal one. For in its infinite strength it shattered the enemy, fashioning anew a path for the Israelites through the deep. Holy Mother Sergius and Bahas, pray to God for us. O Sergius, thou favorite of Christ, taking the ever memorable Bacchus as thy fellow intercessor and helper, with godly wisdom ye finished your sufferings together. Grant a word of wisdom unto me who him you. Holy Mother Sergius and Bahas, pray to God for us. Having set your foundation upon the immovable rock of the Christian faith, O holy martyrs, you were shown to be a rampart and towers of piety firmly established upon a solid foundation. Holy Mother Sergius and Bahas, pray to God for us. Believing the words of Christ and looking toward him with an unwavering gaze, he spat upon all transitory glory, O holy ones, wounded with the love of everlasting glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having divested yourselves of family, homeland, and honor for Christ's sake, you were filled with gladness, and when you were clad in women's garments, he put on the robe of incorruption with splendor and manly wisdom. Both known forever to the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of God, entreat the word to whom thou hast given birth and who came to us in the flesh, that he be merciful and well disposed towards the faithful. For thee have we acquired as our intercessor and salvation. Thou alone knowest the weakness of human nature and in compassion has assumed its form. Do thou guard me with power from on high that I may cry unto thee, Holy is the animate temple of thine ineffable glory, O lover of mankind. O holy martyr Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. He who as God alone knows all things before they come into being, seeing now your offerings to him, has filled you abundantly with the wisdom of discourse, divine knowledge and steadfast thought, for you are his warriors, O blessed ones. O holy martyr Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. O martyred spiritual athletes, favorites of Christ, wishing to suffer lawfully with love for the Creator and divinely wise mind, you spurn corruptible and transitory glory, this world and the Prince thereof. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Standing before the Lord in the most pure thoughts of your mind, and filled therein with splendor, and manifestly delighting in ineffable blessedness, deliver from dangers those who honor you, O spiritual athletes. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Adam, the first to come under the dominion of death, has now been delivered by thy birth-giving, O only bride of God. For in a manner transcending nature, thou hast given birth to the truly hypostatic life, united to the flesh hypostatically, O pure one. Come, ye who love the martyrs, and let us honor the holy athlete Sergius and Bacchus, the noetic pearls of the Lord, for they manfully trampled the delusion of the enemy underfoot, and destroyed all the might of the idols. Wherefore, having received crowns of victory from heaven, as is meet, they join chorus with the angels. With them let us all cry aloud, 
Entreat Christ God that he grant remission of sins to those who with love honor your holy memory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From the snares of enemies visible and invisible, we have been overcome by the storm of our uncountable sins, and fleeing unto the safe harbor of thy goodness, O pure one, we have thee as our rampart and sure protection. Wherefore we beseech thee, to ceaselessly make fervent supplication, O most pure one, unto him who seedlessly became incarnate from thee, that those who worthily him thee may be granted the remission of their sins. Habakkuk, gazing with foreseeing eyes, perceived thee as a mountain overshadowed by the grace of God, from which he foretold the Holy One of Israel would come for our salvation and restoration. O holy martyr Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. Two beacons shining forth from the west, holding the land against the ungodly and undertaking a journey, have arrived at thee, the radiant east of salvation, O Christ. O holy martyr Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. Neither fire, nor sword, nor persecution, nor wounds was able to separate you from the pious thought of God. For, for his sake, you despise this life which endeth, O right glorious ones, and have received blessed and imperishable sweetness. Holy martyr Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. The truly unwavering luminaries in light and the firmament of the Church of Christ with the light of divine effulgence, gladdening the souls of the pious and emitting rays of miracles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The godly Bahas and the excellent Sergius annually summon the lovers of piety and the martyrs to a feast, setting forth their valiant deeds. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The sword which guards the portal of Eden now gives way before the faithful, and it receives them with splendor, beholding them marked with the precious blood of him who was born from thy womb and with grace. O Christ, who hast illumined the ends of the world by the radiance of thy coming, Illumining them with thy cross, to thou enlighten the, with the light of divine understanding the hearts of those who hymn thee in orthodox manner. Holy martyrs, Sergius and Bahus, pray to God for us. Driving away delusion with the sword of truth and mightily enduring the tyrant's wounds, he became victors. And crowned by Christ, ye now rejoice as is meet. Holy Martyr Sergius and Bahus, pray to God for us. Strengthened by the invincible power and grace of the Trinity, the two martyrs cast down the Prince of Darkness and those who are enthralled by him. Wherefore with honor they are called blessed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. With endurance, spiritual courage and might of thought, The two glorious martyrs transcended all the bitter fury of the tormentors and made their abode with the angels. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of God, like the dawn, thou hast shown forth the never-setting Son of true righteousness, bearing him in thine arms united hypostatically to the flesh, Wherefore we all glorify thee. The deepest abyss has summoned us, and there is none to deliver us. Here we have been counted as sheep for the slaughter. Save thy people, O our God, for thou art the strength and restoration of the weak. 
Krieg. O holy martyrs, Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. The relics of the martyrs pour forth streams of healings in abundance. O you faithful, let us therefore fervently draw forth therefrom and bless the spiritual athletes, the glorious Sergius and the ever eloquent Bacchus. O holy martyrs, Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. Hating the tents of the iniquitous and setting at naught their falsehood, Sergius and Bacchus made the journey to heaven in a right orderly fashion attaining unto the calm haven of Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The portals of heaven are thrown open to the martyred spiritual athletes, paying homage to their honourable suffering, which was like unto the grace-bearing passion of our God, and which drives away legions of demons. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With wisdom we proclaim thee truly to be the Mother of God, O Most Pure One. For thou, O Virgin, didst ineffably give birth to the beginningless and only begotten Son, who shone forth from the Father before the beginning of time. Manfully arming your mind against the enemy, O oppressed martyrs, he destroyed all their delusions. Receiving the trophy of victory from on high, and crying out with oneness of mind, how good and joyous it is to be with God. In that Sergius and Bacchus dwelt in the heavens, and are filled with divine light by thee, O Christ, go thou quickly before me who walk in the darkness of ignorance, and rescue me from the passions, O only immortal one sending down for me the vesture of repentance, that with radiant mind I may hymn their splendid feast and cry out rejoicing, how good and joyous it is to be with God. How good and joyous it is to be with God. We the faithful perceive thee, O Theotokos, to be a noetic furnace, for as he, the supremely exalted one, saved the three children, so has he wholly refashioned fallen humanity in thy womb. O God of our fathers, who are praised and supremely glorified. O holy martyr, Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. Rejoice, you two glorious spiritual athletes. Rejoice, you who splendidly overcame the threat of the tyrants. Rejoice, you who finished a good race. Rejoice, food that remains ever within us. Rejoice, O you blessed of God, who manifestly intercede before God. Holy martyr, Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. Walking upon the earth, O most radiant martyrs, you darken the eyes of the demons and the faces of the persecutors with the light of grace and the rays of your suffering, hymning our praise and supremely glorious God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Being animate and living temples of the living God, O all blessed spiritual athletes, truly strengthened by the power of God, you vanquished hordes of the enemy, praising in hymns God, who is mighty in battle. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, blessed and all pure lady, thou wast a most pure temple and a most holy ark, having received the infinite creator God, the only begotten word, in thy womb, containing the unapproachable one. In the furnaces in a fiery smelter, the Israelite children shone more brightly than gold with the beauty of godliness, as they exclaimed, Bless the Lord, all ye his works, seek him, and extremely exalt him throughout all ages. Holy Martyr Sergius and Bahas, pray to God for all. O thou who of old didst cool the flame with dew for the youths, strengthen thou thy martyrs who stand firm amid struggles and sing. Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord, 
Him and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. Holy Mothers, Sergius and Bahas, pray to God for us. Wisely did the spiritual athletes reject the poisonous and spiritually harmful blandishments of the torments, crying out to Christ and saying, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord, him and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. Holy martyrs, Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. Christ has shown Sergius and Bacchus, who are truly crowned to be our true preservers, who protect us and chant. Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord, him and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Through the prayers of the martyrs, O Christ our Master, guide my steps to the virtues and grant that I may readily cry to thee. Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Him and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. I bless thee, the true mother of our God, O pure and all immaculate lady, offering thee rejoice with the angel. For thee do all the works of the Lord unceasingly chant and exalt supremely throughout all ages. The bush which burnt without being consumed prefigured thy pure birth, giving out Theotokos. Wherefore we now entreat thee, quench the raging furnace of temptations that beset us, that we may unceasingly magnify thee. O holy martyr Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. You have acquired all of Christ, having forsaken the whole world for his sake, and now you dwell in the heavens with the choirs of the heavenly hosts, beholding the splendors of the blessing. O holy martyr Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. O excellent pair, you give grace from on high and remission of sins unto those who with love offer you praises, entreating him who alone is merciful and hastening to him. You have cast down care for things below. O holy martyr Sergius and Bacchus, pray to God for us. Illumined with the splendor of the thrice radiant Godhead of invincible martyrs, you rejected the deceptive and godliness of polytheism and the fear of the tormentors, and you now delight in the incorruptible sweetness of paradise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having finished your good race, striving to preserve the faith of piety, O most glorious martyrs, you have been deemed worthy to receive the immovable kingdom, crowned with crowns of beauty and magnificence. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, thy wonders which pass understanding for thou alone, O Virgin Mother, in a manner transcending nature has given birth to God the Word, who assumed flesh, and who wisely sustains and nurtures all things by his will. Let us praise Sergius and Bacchus, the two radiant martyrs, for they endured a battery of wounds and cast down the pride of the most evil tyrant by the power of the Trinity. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, he who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, at the praise of his Holy Mother, with the praise of Saint John the Baptist of the Holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross of the Lord and of the holy, bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of Saint Ninian and Saint Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Saint Cisois the Great, Saint Brandon the Navigator, Saint Oren of Iona, Saint Columba of Iona, Saint Kenneth, Saint Ronan, Saint Molwag, and all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community with the prayers of the holy martyrs Sergius and Bahus of Syria, whose memory we keep today, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Saint Osith, Saint Canog, Saint Doptuk, and Saint Helanus, whose memory we also keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. At the prayers of our Holy Father's Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.